Hi guys, in this session we are going to learn about arrays in SAS. Firstly, what is an array? An array is a collection of similar types of data elements. Here, elements are nothing but variables. Similar type is nothing but either character nor numeric. It means we can't able to use character and numeric in one array at a time. What is the syntax of an array? Array, array name list of elements. Before explain about an array in SAS, first we have to understand the purpose of array in SAS. For explain about the purpose of an array in SAS, I take example from SAS help.class. I named the data set dummy and set SAS help.class run. Before opening data set check log, log is clear. Here we have a data set dummy with the variables name, sex, age, height and weight. For explain about purpose of an array in SAS, I am going to take two examples. First one is, I want to add plus 10 to the age, height and weight. And second example is, I want to add plus 10 to the age and plus 10 to the height and 20 to the weight. Now I am writing general code for the two examples and first one is an example one and data demo and set it dummy age equals to age plus 10, height equals to height plus 10, weight equals to weight plus 10 and run. Before opening data set check log, log is clear, dummy data set. Compared to the previous data set here 14, 13 uh, here is there and uh, we are just adding plus 10, 24, 23 like this and uh, in the height also 69 previously and uh, now it is a 79 and uh, previously uh, 112 uh, and now 122 this is an example one now the second example and i named the data set uh, with the same name demo and set dummy and age equals to age plus 10 and height equals to height plus 10 and weight equals to plus 20 before opening data set, uh, check log at once, log is clear. Compare here, previously 14 is there, I am just adding 10 to the age and uh, previously 69 is there, I am adding 79 to it and for weight I am adding 20. Now, I am converting these two conditions into array concept, then how it will be. Okay, so add it for an example one and a demo one, set with demo and already you know the syntax array, array name is here explain and uh, these are the list of elements and elements are nothing but variables here. Now we are writing one do loop here that is a do over and explain, do over on explain, explain is an array name here and do over explain and explain plus 10 and n is a must and should for the do loop we know that and run here we have a three lines of code and we convert into single line by array and what is the explain here age height and weight and one more condition we can take same type of data type at a time it means either numeric or character here we are taking only numeric now we run this code before opening data set check log log is clear and uh, demo one here the same output and for 10 10 10 previously you know 14 69 11 12 and now it is the uh, 24 79 125 just like this uh, we apply same condition on multiple variables at a time by the array now array simply array is used for apply same condition on multiple variables it means on a same data type only at a time and uh, you will get an idea about uh, for example to at the end of this session now we are moving to array explanation there are two types of arrays in SAS. First one is an implicit array and the second one is an explicit array. And we use a do over loop in implicit array to do iteration loop in explicit array. First we have uh, explained about a do over and a do over it um, comes under the implicit array and a data I named the data set do over and set sas help dot class array 
the name is a miss and age height and weight are the list of variables do over is a loop in implicit array and a miss is the array name here and uh, the condition is uh, if mod is an equals to 0 then it replaced by 1 2 3 and end is a must and should run here what we are given in these three variables age height and weight if mod of the three variable is equals to 0 then it will be replaced by 1 2 3 now we are running this code before opening data set check log log is clear and we are opening do over wherever mod is equals to 0 then it is replaced by 1 2 3 in age height and weight in the age here and here and uh, and these are the uh, replaced observation and height this is the replaced observation it is uh, mod 2 equals to 0 and in the weight also these are the observations that mod equals to 0 and replaced by 1 2 3 and uh, here we can't able to control the number of elements in array direct it takes total elements in array what it, what does it mean here we are implement three variables here age height and weight whatever we write in a do loop it will be implemented for the three variables okay now i want to control that number of variables for example i want to only apply this condition on any two or any one at a time then how it will be and what is the name of that and that is a do iteration or nothing but explicit array and i name it the data set do iteration set sas help dot class and array array name is same is and r h height and weight are the variables here and do a equals to 1 2 3 here what does it mean what is the a here a is nothing but control and restrict the, the number of elements to apply array you can take whatever alphabet you want either a x or y or z or whatever alphabet instead of a and 1 2 3 what does it mean here 1 2 3 represent this is a 1 and this is a 2 and this is a 3 and what is the meaning of 1 2 3 it nothing but on this three variables it comes under explicit array and if mod of uh, miss a comma 2 then miss of a equals to 1 2 3 and n and run here what is the difference between these two situations here in this we can't able to control the number of variables per array simply we just a use a do over and here we can control the number of variables to implement array and what is the difference here very small difference you have to implement it that is you have to write a here here we don't have a why because we are not restrict any variables here but we are restrict uh, variables here that's why you have to write a in here and here okay now we are running this code before opening data set check log log is clear and we are opening d iteration here the same condition we are giving but a is created if you are if you don't want to this a you can easily drop this here the same condition if it is miss then 1 2 3 on one here we are giving 1 2 3 that's why it's implement on this three variables now if you want to apply array in particular variable only one variable then how it will be and i name the data set particular set sas help dot class array and name array name is the sample and what are the variable age height and weight are the variables do s equals to 2 and already told you whatever alphabet you use that's how you wish and uh, if mod of sample of s comma 3 equals to 0 then sample of s equals to triple line end and run here uh, what is the difference between these two iterations here we are giving a a equals to 1 to 3 it means of what 1 to 3 and here i am only giving on 2 what is the 2 here height is a 2 now then how it will be output before opening data set check log log is clear and we are opening particular here there is no change in age and weight only we are giving 
2 2 is nothing but height and wherever it's a mod equals to 0 it will be replaced by triple 9 here only the triple 9 in this variable we don't have a triple 9 observation and in this variable also there is a no observation like triple 9 why because we are restrict to only one variable like this okay now if you want to include all elements in array for example this is a very simple data set that's why we are only having three variables around the five variables in the real time there is a number of variables there we can't even to count that variables if that situation then how we implement this uh, do iteration simply we are using dim dim include the all elements in array then the code will be data enable the data set dim set as help dot class array name is a miss and age height and weight here we know the variables so that's why we are placed it in the real life also we have to place the number of variables but where the situation we can't able to count that number of variables simply we use a dim and do a equals to 1 to dim of miss here we using dim dim of miss nothing but whatever variables in the miss that all variables will be included in it and uh, if mod of miss a comma 2 equals to 0 then miss of a equals to 1 2 3 0. and end is a must and should and run before opening data set check log at once log is clear and uh, do dim here simply given to all variables here 1 2 3 1 2 3 and uh, in this also 1 2 here we can simply mention dim to include the all elements or nothing but variables in array now in the real time we have a bulk data it means we can't uh, we don't know the number of uh, numeric variables in it and we don't know the number of character variables in it and we can't uh, even even uh, specify that each and every variable in array but we want to apply same condition either character or numeric in a particular data set we have a code for that for simplify that then how it will be first one is an apply array and only a numeric it takes whatever numeric data in the data set and enable the do num and the set sans help dot class array enable the data set name miss and new this is the condition for takes all numeric data in the data set and the do a equals to 1 to dim and uh, why we mentioned dim here we don't know the number of uh, variables in it we can't able to number to it that's why we simply we use a dim and if mod miss a comma 2 equals to 0 then miss of a equals to 1 to 3 end and run okay we are running this code before opening uh, data set check log log is clear we are opening do now here it takes only the numeric wherever it's a missing 1 2 3 1 2 3 1 2 3 i got it like this this type of situation in a real time we are using simply replace the missing observations in the all numeric variables now how to apply on only character okay then i enable the data set to char and set sans help dot class array enable the data set uh, enable the array name is a miss and character underscore character underscore do a equals to 1 to dim why we use the dim simply include the all elements if index miss comma a greater than 0 then miss of a equals to no and end and run before opening data set check log log is clear and we are opening do character here there is a no change in the numeric data types and only change in the character here we don't have a a that's why it's not a change and here it's a replaced by no because it have a a alphabet in the names like this we can apply array either all the numeric data in data set or all the character data in the data set simply this code and now we can apply multiple arrays in one data set at a time then how it will be array multiple arrays and uh, data multiple sets as help dot class array i named the array name is a sample age height do 
is equals to 1 to 2, whatever alphabet you take, that's your wish. If mod of sample s comma 2 equals to 0, then sample of equals to 1. End. And uh, we are using uh, another variable, sample 1, I name it the array name is the sample 1, and wait. Do equals to 1. And if mod of sample 1 of t comma equals to 0, then sample of t equals to triple two. End and run. Here we are writing two arrays in one data set. Then uh, we are running this code before opening data set log. Log is clear. For age and height, we are giving triple one. That is a this uh, it includes in one array. And in for the weight, we are writing another array. And if it is mod equals to zero, then we are giving triple two. This is a one array. Here simply we can apply the number of arrays in a one data set either character or numeric uh, at a time in a one data set. And the next one we can create a new variable by using array also and uh, how it will be and uh, enable the data set new set as help dot class enable the array name in the sample and the variables are age, height and weight array and I created another array by name is new and age one height one and weight one do s equals to one to three and the condition is if mod of sample of two equals to zero then new of s equals to zero one zero one and and run we are running this code before opening data set check log log is clear and we are opening new and uh, we are creating two new variables age height and weight here the logic is for creating new variable first of all we have to create an array with the existing variable then after that we can create whatever variables we want new with that means are new variables now we apply array for that new variables and there is already existing variables with the another array like uh, by using this logic we can create a new variables also in array and for easy understand you have to use your own examples for each and every this condition you can get easily understand.